Hi guys, so today I have a sponsored video from Tonic Studios for their new Create and Make Die Set, the festive votive uh, gift box or, you know, votive holder uh, set. So um, if you're familiar with their Create and Make items now, they've had a couple out. It's just a small die set. It has a small price tag and um, just something that they're putting out and it's really cute, really quick and easy. Um, Excuse me, so, you know, um, you have your several dies, but it, to me it's just a very easy project to put together generally with these Create and Makes. Super cute. So uh, I have this other die set here that's larger, and um, this can mix and match with this other um, Eternal Love Lantern. So if you have that, you can definitely um, add this into the repertoire. They, I don't know if you see, they have the same kind of like design shape in here. So this one has a Christmas theme. This one has more of a love and kind of everyday theme. And they are the same shape, so you can mix and match these guys. So initially, these were sent free of charge from my review. And of course, all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Um, I want you to know that this also coordinates with the eternal love so just more ways to play with that with the gentleman's um, silhouette the ladies here and on this one this particular one we have like this little Christmas tree inlay the outside is very gorgeous it's like maybe like a poinsettia kind of uh, design there it looks kind of like our iron gate something like that down here so we have that guy that we can pop in there super simple make as you can see you have this is the the main piece, right? Your main die. This creates the sides, but you also have a triangle and a square. So you can make this votive into a triangular shape or a square shape. So four or three, right, sides. And um, then you have your inlays. If you want to make it very uh, lacy, so that you have a votive in there. If you want to make it just like a little gift box, maybe it holds like some candies inside. Um, you can just do more sides that are solid, like this and then add some uh, pieces on top that uh, look really nice and or <laughs> you go ahead and do the inlays now with this base piece and they'll be very lacy and um, you see right through into your your votive right so there you go so we have that one I'll give you a size on this right quick we have the metal to metal it is almost five and a half inches tall just shy of five and a half inches and by two and a half um, so that's that. The square, so you can have an idea. I think today I'll make the triangle because that's a little bit different shape. We generally go with the squares. Um, it is like two and three eighths square. <laughs> um, and then the triangle side, one of the sides, but we will uh, play with that in just a minute. Um, is, well, the metal to metal is just over two and a half inches, but the side itself is like two and a quarter. Um, there is another layer here for the uh, triangle that's the base um, you have this cute little like Christmas tree tag you have the little bell that has um, a little more delicate detail die and then the background die you have this gorgeous inlay that makes like the little candle which is really an adorable design I love that kind of thing uh, very traditional you have a little banner here and then these guys don't inlay in here they'll make their own things so you have the banner but you can pop this on top and it says like oh Christmas tree you have peace love and joy you have merry and bright and joyous season and maybe you want to decorate your little Christmas tree a little bit kind of with these little uh, guys here so you have um, cute pieces for your ornaments so a little ornament and then this little ornament that goes on top like for let's say this is silver and then you cut this out of red it cuts a little hole in there so when you pop it on there it'll have a little you can see the background piece the color coming through and then the little star that also has just the topper piece for it uh, super cute so very straightforward set I think this is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial I probably will like I said we'll use this guy obviously We'll use this one. Those are my base pieces. And then um, I will go ahead and wh what I want to show you is there's not another die that cuts like this edge, right? This is an inlay. So you're going to use this guy if you want to matte layer it. You're just going to use this guy again and run through with um, your pieces. And then you just run it through and you're going to trim off like the glue tabs basically is how I would work that uh, for layering. But let me grab some base colors and we will just get started. I'm going to go with gold and cream color, just really traditional and pretty. Uh, so we will need two of these guys because you want one for the inside of the box, one for the under side. So two of those from the cream color. I will do three of this from the cream color. And then I want the gold to be on top um, and just be cut into and look really pretty. So three of this and two of those, just like that. And then I'll need also three of these. So when I bring this over, you know, I can do my inlays. Do you want to do this whole thing or just the very center and have it, you know, gold. Ooh, maybe that's what we'll do. 
Um, again, it, I, I, since I'm not doing this portion in here, um, it's not going to have like the creamy kind of thing going with it. But you know what? Hmm. There's a lot of ways to play with this, but uh, for now, uh, let's just say I take this here and just leave it there. So it'll have the gold, it'll just be solid gold, but it'll still be uh, an inlay with the little candle. Um, you can also do this with your layering. Let me cover this up so it doesn't freak out the camera so much. Um, let's say you do want it to be a votive, like show the laciness all the way through. You can definitely do one layer, like let's say the top layer that has both of these, right? Uh, let's say that's your top layer, so it's going to be very decorative, very lacy and everything. And then the background one, even though it's in the back, but it's still going to be showing through because you want that lace look, just do it this way. Ah! Like this one, right? Um, because then you'll have the sturdiness of the background. It'll show, you know, the creamy color, let's say it's the one in the back, will show through from that um, gold or however. And then this portion is still cut away just like the top portion was cut away and that way you'll still see through. So hopefully that makes sense. But there's also ways to mix and match that. I'm just uh, showing you a way of having some sturdiness but still having that lacy look that goes and looks all the way through. But for right now I'll do that. So I'm not going to use this one and that way we'll have all this gold and it'll be really nice. And then that means I can place this wherever I want really but I still want it to be about the same on all of them. So I'll tape this across and every time I move it to the new piece I'll just move it gently so that the tape is basically still in the same area. Okay, and I'll be right back. pieces here and so basically with this one since this is the, dec the decorative one that's going to go on top of this you know usually I put my items together and then I put the decorative layers but um, with this one I'm just going to go ahead and get that going so on these guys there are base pieces we're going to go ahead and score them so all of them we'll score them just like this and you can do it after you've added your decorative layer but I'm going to do it before so I'll score all three of those and with these guys we're just going to cut these off now you can take scissors you can take it to um, a cutting tool you can you know whatever makes you feel more comfortable guillotine um, just bring it over here and just you know make sure you're pretty much on that line where the score line is and go ahead and slice that off we don't need it and on the other direction too so even if you're trying to just conserve your paper you can think about that tab being there and knowing you don't need it. Um, that might help you when you do, when you lay your dies on. I remembered later, I was like, oh, I actually don't need that portion to be complete. So if you just have a scrap of paper that you can kind of get it going, then do that, you know. But I just cut those off. So I'll do the same thing for the other two and score the other two, and I'll be right back. So we have our two base triangles. We have these pretty guys, and then we have our pieces that we just scored. And basically, we're just going to lay these guys right on, you know. Um, so I'm going to do that right now, and then we'll put them together. Um, oh, this is one little area there. And this is some delicate paper, so what I'm going to do is go on here right to the very edges, of course. And then just kind of take away the excess so right around here and in here and I'm put some on the back of my hand because I really want that to stay down nicely those fine areas and then whatever else is just kind of left over the little extra glue just pat that off too and so yeah just taking that on there and lining them up and then we'll glue these to our bases and then in the form of a triangular votive holder <laughs> so I'll be right back so I just left my pieces under something a little heavy to just kind of keep them flat and everything adhered really nicely so there we go okay so we'll take one of our uh, triangles here and basically we're going to stick them underneath so this is the rough side I'll just stick them on the nice side we're going to cover it either way um, actually let's go ahead and turn it 
rough side down this glue tab and then this way because if you can peek into it then you can see the nice finished side right so we're gonna do that on all three sides <laughs> super easy you guys we already scored these guys and so we're just gonna put that guy there and this guy here and as I put it I always put it nice and you know as close as I can to the score line making sure we're not bothering the score line at all um, impeding that area excuse me and then the last one again inside so I hope it made sense what I was saying as far as if you want to make the votive a little sturdier um, you know doing basically this with the inside panel the one that would have the glue tabs and on the outside doing all the you know inlay and then cutting off the tabs and you have this that's very lacy but it's going to show through from this side into the other one because it's already cut out just in the center hope that makes sense and this guy again just up like that okay and i'll go ahead and just uh, yeah, I'm putting glue on here, but if you really want to be more accurate with it, you can put it on the <laughs> triangle itself or the other piece. You would do the same thing with the square. Just put your pieces on and then cover up that base nicely here. Got a little extra glue here. Whenever I use a shiny paper, I guess I get extra glue. You can just use a little moist towel or something. Sometimes it'll rub off with your finger. It'll just come away because it's very slick and it just comes off. <laughs> I'm gonna let that set up just for a second, but basically we are done with the structure because that, for that we're just gonna glue the tabs like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Go ahead and glue these guys on. So again, I always put the glue right at the very edge, that outside edge. So when you bring it, bring it together, it'll just adhere and look really nice there. And I'm going to hold that. It's a very sharp angle. Of course, it's a, a triangle there. And so I'm going to hold that before I move on because I really want those edges to meet up. And if you want to put it like that, kind of squish that down, burnish that glue tab so it's really touching, um, that'd be great. But again, I lined it up here first. Okay, I'm going to let that set up for just a little bit before we move on to the next one and the next one. Next side, uh, this one, sure, why not? And again, our tab. I'm being a little more careful because of that paper that I used. It's a little more delicate. And just, that looks really good. From there to there. Again, a super sharp angle. I want to see if I should, there we go. Something like that. I'm going to hold that just for a second. And once I think I can kind of let go a little bit, I'll go ahead and put it down here and then use my tool to go in there and really squish down that glue tab. Okay, and I'll let that set up and then we'll finish off with this one. Looking really cool. And then this last guy. So I'll just put glue again right towards that very edge. And this guy's kind of wanting to click in on its own already. So what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball it from here, push that down, and just push my glue tab against that opposite side. And I'll be right back. so pretty and just, I love that gold, the way it just shines, looks really nice. So again, you have the, your um, boat over there, you can definitely put, you know, is just not quite one of those guys but it'll fit right in there those just typical you know um tea lights right the uh electric ones the ones with the battery i wouldn't put a fiery one in here um so we have these guys and again you can mix and match with the other set the other set has tons of labels and cute things that you can pop on there um i was trying to think if i want to do like a little bell um yeah and from just you know decorating one side of it I think that's probably what I'll do. I'll choose a side like this one is really calling to me, so maybe I'll choose that side. We'll do a little belt um, again with the cream and the gold. So I'll put run this through the cream paper, run this through the gold paper, uh, that area. So we'll have that little bell, and then this through cream colored paper. Just keeping it all uh, the same there, and then maybe uh, ch ch peace, love, and joy. I'll run this through with the gold paper, and I'll bring. Oh, I love this kind of thing because you know. It just has that impression and it looks so nice. Let me show you that. Our peace, love, and joy. 
And this little bell is very paper pieceable. I mean, it's this whole large part and then two little slits and then these little spots here. So like I have all the pieces here if you were, yeah, you know, I just want to show them to you that it's very easy to paper piece if you want to do that. Uh, so for right now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just put probably glue in the back of my hand and put those two guys together. And then same thing with my label portion. This guy here. Over here. Nope, nope. Let's line up. <laughs> One thing about putting Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive on the back of your hand and dipping is that it's very, just a little amount of it and it wants to stick right away. So, there we go. Just know that if you're going to do this. And since I still have glue in the back of my hand, I'll just use it for this guy. And I'll pop that right in here. How cute. I'll hold that down. I'm going to put some dimensionals on this guy and I'll be right back. I have a thicker dimensional here than I put on the very edges. Like, hopefully you can see that. I know it might be washed out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is kind of curve this guy. I probably should have that first. Just give it a little bit of a curve, a little zhuzh, so that this guy stands up more there and less on either side over here. Just give it a little different dimension there. And this is the side I was going to use. I said this one. And the difference with this one and the other ones is just that it's a whole panel and then the tabs were on this back side. I don't know. It just looks different. So maybe we'll put it down here. Peace, love, and joy. Again, a little higher here and a little lower on either side here. And then with this little bell, and we can do a pair of bells if you would like. I'm going to take this guy and I'll just tie a bow and then I'm going to glue it on here. So I'm just going to take this. You can definitely singe the edges if you would like of your ribbon. And I'm just going to tie a bow and hopefully this way. Give myself a good amount of ribbon there. And you know, you can even pop a hole in this if you wanted to glue the bow to, or tie the bow to the top. We are going to glue it already. Um, I'm trying to think if I need hot glue gun or just... I'll probably need the hot glue gun, right? Just arranging this bow so it looks nice. Straight. Uh, let's see, where do we want that little guy? Oh, that's cute. Um, okay, so let me fire my hot glue gun and I'll be right back. So we have that. Looking really cute. And then I'll pop this guy up here, I think a little closer to the top. So, just a little dabble, do ya? <laughs> and I'm gonna bring that up here. I'm just gonna hold it for a second before I really pull away the little fibers, because if you keep pulling, the glue will just keep pulling. <laughs> so you, I just wait until it's dry set up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and that is it. So yeah, like this little string here from the glue. You just kind of get rid of it. <laughs> you know, I've noticed j just this. Sometimes it'll want to stick to shiny papers like this. I don't know why, but I'll get rid of that. And just, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Come on. There we go. All right. So thanks for watching guys. Again, a quick and easy, lovely project. I mean, you can put tons of lint candies in here, kisses, you know, oh, candy canes would fit in here perfectly because look how tall it is. Um, again, I don't know if I, we talked about that at the beginning, two, four, five inches about tall. And so yeah, candy canes in here would look really cute. You know, paper piecing, again, votive looking or votive looking even if you just put candies in it, it's going to be really, really fun. So again, it coordinates back with the Eternal Love Lantern. So, you know, a lot of mix and matching going on with those guys if you would like. And uh, so thank you so much, Tonic Studios, for sponsoring this video, for sending these items for review. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.